Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, we're going to be going over every team builder. We're going to be going over every power-up in the game. And we're going to be going over the first promo of the game. The campaign promo is nothing too special, but we'll go over it since Mutt Leaks actually leaked that as well. Uh, but you guys see in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see Mutt Leaks uh, their Twitter, so I would advise you to go and follow them because they leak a lot of stuff like you're seeing here. This is going to be, I believe, 64 players, one on offense, one on defense for each team in the NFL. Um, so again, if you are a fan of a certain team, look for your team's players here. Um, you will have two players guaranteed going into the, to uh, Madden 22. They're going to be 84 overalls. Um, and since we are a Titans channel, we're going to be going over the Tennessee Titans that are coming to the game as obviously team builders and also power ups. Um, and then we'll get into the campaign promo a little bit later. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, for the Titans, you might find a Tennessee Titan pretty easily. You see in the bottom left hand corner, second from the left on the bottom row. You'll see number 70, and that's Ty Sambrello for the Tennessee Titans. Um, I don't know where they're going to put him at, whether it be left tackle or right tackle. We'll have to see. Honestly, I could care less which way, which way he goes because, you know, we're going to, you know, spoiler alert, we're getting a Jack Conklin power-up. Uh, but Taylor Lewan actually is not going to get a power-up, so... Maybe left tackle instead of right tackle, but we'll have to wait and see for him uh, where they put him, either left or right tackle. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. And the other Titan on this screen is actually going to be a little bit harder to find because he's, he's in a different jersey. And if you look third row down, second from the right, see number 20 for the Saints. That's actually Jack Rabbit Jenkins. So Janoris Jenkins is going to get our team builder. So we're going to get a cornerback and an offensive lineman. That is pretty solid in my opinion. So I will definitely take that. That's going to help us out at cornerback uh, because we'll get into the power-ups and we lose a couple of power-ups that we had from last year. So that's kind of frustrating. But let's go ahead and let's move on to these power-ups. Again, pretty small. I know I apologize. But if you enlarge your screen, you should, um, you know, if you can, you can obviously go to Twitter, save it as a, uh, you know, add to photos, kind of zoom in. Um, or you can just take a screenshot of the video right now and then zoom in on it on, on each uh, each row and kind of go through it. Um, but how I looked for the Titans is I started up here. I believe that's Aaron Donald, and I worked my way down through here. And I was like, oh, there's Derrick Henry. And I kept working. Oh, there's Logan Ryan. I kept working out through here, up, 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 down. So that's kind of how I did it. Um, but it took me a while to find every Titan. I might have missed one. Um, but y'all let me know. But let's go ahead and let's check out every Titan in the game. I've got a list right here. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this because I posted it earlier. Um, but let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. So first and foremost, Derrick Henry, obviously. Second, Logan Ryan. Rashawn Evans, Desmond King, Kevin Byard, A.J. Brown, Roger Saffold, Julio Jones, Harold Landry, Jeffrey Simmons, Jack Conklin, Brett Kern, Jadavion Clowney, Ryan Tannehill, and Bud Dupree. So, that is pretty freaking awesome because we are getting 15. Now, I don't know if these guys are going to be 80 overall or higher because do we really think we're... I don't know. We might get... These guys might be 80 plus. But I think they might be doing it a little bit differently because... I don't, well, I don't know. All these guys might be 80 plus, and they might just give them to all the elites. But maybe some of these are high golds, and they got some power ups as well. Um, so I don't know, but y'all let me know. Did I miss any Titans on here? Kind of look through here if you can help me out down below. But I think I got most everybody. Um, but again, if you are a fan of a certain team, you can look through there and see if you can find some players that, that fit your theme team as well. So you're looking at the start of the year for the Tennessee Titans theme team. Um, we're going to have a very good team. Uh, we're going to have three elite. I don't know. Again, I don't know if these guys are going to be elite or not. I don't know if these guys are going to be 80 plus. I really hope so because that would be cool. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. 
um, but you're going to be starting off with three elite offensive linemen, uh, offensive linemen with um, Roger Saffold, Jack Conklin, and Ty Sambrello. Um, quarterback, you're going to have Ryan Tannehill. Running back, you're going to have Derrick Henry. You're going to have three unbelievable studs at wide receiver with A.J. Brown as an 83 once you power him up, with Julio Jones at an 87 once you power him up. You also have Randy Moss. And you guys are probably thinking, what are you talking about, D-Man? Randy Moss, he doesn't get the Titans chemistry, does he? Yes, actually, he does. If you guys watched the Good Morning Madden stream, uh, Kralo actually did. Uh, Kralo and RG both ha did mention that those players that come in the bundles, like the Randy Moss and the Dion uh, or the Wes Welker and Ronnie Harrison, those guys actually get any team Kim they played for. So I think Wes Welker played for the Broncos too, and maybe another team. I might be missing a uh, team there. But Randy Moss, obviously, he's going to get all those team Kims and same with Dion. So Randy Moss is actually going to get Titans chemistry to start the year. So you're looking at A.J. Brown, Julio Jones, Randy Moss. That's going to be scary. Um, and then whatever Josh Reynolds is, whatever Des Fitzpatrick ends up being, um, and then maybe they give us a, a couple silvers that may be a little sleepers, but I doubt it because we're, we're, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with AJ Brown, Julio Jones, and Randy Moss. So, uh, wide receivers to start the year, phenomenal. Let's move on to defense. Safety is a very important key position <clears throat> on defenses is safeties because you could have, you could be, uh, four deep safeties and they could all be on the field if you wanted them to. So, very excited for, for Logan and Ryan to get a power up because that's going to help us out, whether it be at safety or at corner. I would imagine it stay at safety since he had a, a free safety veteran card come into the game last year. Um, but maybe he gets a secondary uh, position at cornerback since obviously when he was on the Titans, he played at cornerback. Uh, and when he was on the Patriots, he played at cornerback as well. So maybe he gets that secondary position, hopefully. Um, but that's awesome to see him. So maybe he'll help out help us out at safety. Um He'll, he will help us out at safety if, he, if, if his position is free safety. Um, and then also having Kevin Byard is really, really cool too. So we'll probably have to, you know, put one at strong safety or another, at, uh, you know, one at free safety, one at strong safety. Um, and you got to think about it. Strong safety for us. Who was our strong safety last year? Kenny Vaccaro. He had a power-up. Not going to get a power-up this year unless maybe later down the road he plays well for whatever team he's going to sign for. I don't, he's still a free agent. So, hey. Who knows who, who's gonna get who who's I don't know who's gonna pick him up so um, that's interesting there um, but our strong safety right now is Monty Hooker and I think Monty Hooker should be mid mid seventies maybe low seventies because really he hadn't made a name for himself except for last year a little bit but this year I I could definitely think he would be a team standout for us if they uh, if that promo returns to the game um, so let's let's move on I don't want to get this video too strong out um, but cornerback wise we're gonna start the gear with Jack Rabbit Caleb Farley is sounding like he's gonna be a budget beast from what RG was talking about on the stream um and then we'll have to see noah dory jackson so he's not going to get tennessee titan chemistry because he doesn't have a power up um and then also no jason mccordy which kind of surprised me again he hadn't played so you know well at all um but in my opinion he, he could still be a power up some of these guys on here i think um jason mccordy is better than so um, as of right now too so um, honestly surprised Jason McCourty didn't get a power up I might have missed him but I don't I don't think I saw him on here so no Jason McCourty so we're going to be weak at cornerback um, so that is kind of unfortunate um, hopefully we see a return of Finnegan um, maybe a Samari role as a team diamond that would be pretty cool but to start the year cornerback is going to be a little weak and that's something you don't want to see that because you know uh, when you're matching up against Jamar Chase, Tyreek Hill, those fast, fast, fast players, it's going to be tough to stop them. But hopefully that Caleb Farley has sneaky good speed on him. Uh, and then we go, we'll go to the middle linebacker spot. Uh, Rashawn Evans is going to get a power-up, so that is great. Uh, Jayon Brown is going to have a probably a pretty probably decently fast middle linebacker card. He's going to have decent zone coverage too, so... Uh, Jayon Brown should be a pretty solid card depending on how linebackers play and from the beta it doesn't seem like they're going to play any different than they were last year so that is kind of frustrating but it's going to be good to have his speed out there too so um, I expect Jayon Brown to have solid speed on him if he didn't get hurt last year I fully expected him to get a power up but he got hurt last year so not surprised that he did not get a power up uh, but we look at the edge rushers that's probably our strength um, our biggest strength going into this year, and like it was last year, it was one of our best strengths. 
Uh, we had Golden Ticket Derek Roberson, Golden Ticket Clowney, um, and some really good, you know, defensive ends with uh, Vanden Bosch, Curse. Those guys were great. Um, another guy, Jarrell Casey. We're going over left ends. He didn't get a power up. Uh, not surprised about that because he didn't play. I think he played like what two games last year. <coughs> so, <clears throat> not surprised that he did not get one. Um, but edge rushers, we're gonna have Bud Dupree. We're going to have. Harold Landry, and we're going to have Jadavion Clowney. So three great edge rushers to start the game. I might move one of them down to left end, probably Clowney, because he's probably going to get that secondary position at left end or right end, depending on where they put uh, Jeffrey Simmons at. Um, I'll probably have Clowney opposite of him, and they'll have Harold Landry and Bud Dupree off the edges. So that's going to be very exciting. Um, we'll get to the D-line. Uh, no mention of Danico Autry on this list. That kind of surprised me. Um, but I, I'm still not surprised he didn't get a power up because, um, well, I, you know, I, I could have definitely seen Danico Autry get a power up, but I don't know. He could definitely be our team standout this year too. So, um, in my opinion, the only holes defensively is probably cornerback and interior defensive line. Uh, we really don't have a big name there. Hope, I, I doubt Albert Hainsworth returns to the game this year, but maybe he does, um, you know, that's kind of frustrating, but um, yeah, Vanden Bosch probably not going to return to the game. So um, defensive end wise, uh, Clowney and Jeffrey Sims are probably going to be there. And then the defensive tackle spot, probably going to have uh, Danico Autry there until he gets an upgrade. So only holes defensively, cornerback and interior D-line. Uh, and then the only holes on offense are probably going to be Depending on how high Ben Jones and, and Nate Davis are going to be, um, I think Ben Jones is going to be a high goal like last year. I expect Nate Davis to get even better uh, from last year, so I expect him to get a high goal. Um, and Taylor Lewan, I, I can't believe he's not a power-up, but um, I expect him to be, be a high goal as well. Uh, and then again, wide receivers were stacked. Quarterback, good to go. Running back, really good to go with Derrick Henry. And then the other hole on offense is definitely going to be tight end. I was hoping that Ferkshire was actually going to get our uh, team builder to help us out there at tight end because I love throwing to my tight end. But looking like we're going to be using a, a gold Ferkser to start the year. So that's kind of frustrating. No Johnny Smith as well. So that kind of surprised me as well. Uh, but hopefully down the road, Johnny Smith gets like a team standout if that promo does return or something else like that because I, I'd love to have Johnny Smith back on the Titans theme team uh, for that speed. But with that being said, let's move on to our final thing we want to talk about again. This is not too special because all these cards are going to be the same overall as their core elite. You just play through challenges and get their um, campaign card except they're just, you know Tannehill you see him on here bottom uh, second row from the bottom third from the right he's actually just gonna be an 82 overall like his core elite um, and then um, but the difference is you see Jair Alexander you see Travis Kelsey you see Stefan Diggs uh, um, Bobby Wagner is a pretty high overall this year those guys are probably you're gonna probably have to play a little bit more to get their their uh, you know 87, 86 overall instead of Tannehill's because Tannehill is only an 82, so I would imagine you'd have to play less to get the 82 Tannehill, and then you'd have to play more to get the higher overall cards, so that would only make sense to me, um, but they, he is our campaign card, so I think it's just going to be a little different card art, and you could get Tannehill for free instead of having to buy him, so in my opinion, um, very, very happy about the power-ups, so the power-ups, probably the biggest news of the day because that tells us a lot. Because the power-ups, you know, we get power-up expansion. Power-ups uh, normally get cards throughout the year. So very, very happy that, you know, like the sleepers with Logan Ryan. Happy that he got a power-up. Uh, guys like uh, Jack Conklin, glad that he got a power-up. You know, the guys that don't play for us anymore, they got power-ups. I'm very happy because that's kind of like, um, you know, you're getting extra cards, bonus cards. Um, but for the guys we got, like A.J. Brown, Julio, Derrick Henry, uh, those guys were expected to. Um, and I'm just excited that we get those guys uh, as well. So with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Until next time. I'll see y'all.